Hello, welcome to the Ghostbusting 2022 webinar. Uh, this is Brian Besco with Twisted Sage Studios. Um, so I guess uh, to begin with, we are here live. Um, you're probably watching the recording here. But uh, for those of you who are here live, if you'd like to put your questions here on the questions tab, um, I'll go over some of the tools that we have here for 2022 for doing the spirit releases, we like to call it. And um, then I can take some questions. Um, so we call this ghost busting, but yet just because it is a term that everybody knows. But in reality, <clears throat> we, we like to personify these beings a little bit more than just ghosts because they are disincarnate beings, which means that as when the human dies, there is that aspect of us that still has the ego, the thoughts, the experiences, the everything that we are as a human um, without the physical body is what this wayward or um, we, we call them waywards because they're searching for their way home. And so basically when a person exits the physical body and becomes a disincarnate being, most cultures will see that, well, various cultures will see that this light to the way home, this light is open for anywhere from three to nine days. We see it as being open and, and available for nine days after you exit the body. Now, at that time, you still have free will choice, whether you wish to go into that light to go back to source, soul, creation, God, or if you want to stick around. Now, usually people will stick around. They'll go, they'll travel around, um, they'll go see things, and then they just cross over. Here recently, over the past little while, we've seen that people just, they just go. They're just like, nope, I'm going straight home. And they just exit stage left. Um, so basically what happens to a lot of these disincarnate beings who choose to stay here is, is that, again, they have free will choice. They can either go or stay. For the majority of people um, that exit their bodies and they choose to stay there's three main reasons especially here in the united states where people choose to stay one is a fear of hell or a punishment you know and that's pretty prevalent and it used to be more prevalent here in the united states of those who just are scared to cross over because of a fear of you know the everything that was instilled with them within them uh, you know, if they weren't good enough or if they sin, they're going to go to hell. So they choose not to cross over. Uh, usually one of the biggest reasons throughout everywhere around the world, no matter the culture or the belief system, is that they want to stick around for a loved one. And so they'll, they'll choose, they'll be like, well, I, you know, I need to stay here for Aunt Martha. And so they choose to stay. Um, you know, then there are some other various reasons that um, they can that they can choose to stay. And one of the reasons, and it's not too prevalent, but you do find it once in a while, are those who don't even realize they died, that died suddenly, and they just they're they're just kind of wandering. Um, and they just they just don't realize that they died at that moment. And so there is a small percentage of those disincarnate beings who, who choose to, to stay. Um, well, they don't choose to stay. They just, they don't cross over into the light. So when I first started doing this uh, spirit release is what they call it in the UK is spirit release is, um, <clears throat> well, how I got into it is because my daughter, we lived in a old brothel, an 1880s house here in our tiny town of South Dakota uh, in Buffalo Gap. And it was just a lot of ghosts, waywards that were here. And my daughter would wake up with night terrors. Well, it's because kids can see and sense and feel those, those disincarnate beings, just like pets can, animals can, you know, especially cats and dogs, but especially cats. And so when they, um, when my daughter was having the night terrors and 
that's when I reached out to my sister who was an energy healer and she told me what was going on. And so I started to learn how to cross these beings over. So that's the thing is, is that when you die and you choose to stay or you stay here for whatever reason, and that light closes to home, you are stuck here. Um, the archangels can't come in. Nobody can come in and just take you home. Um, you are here. And so what I was doing in the beginning was I would call in Archangel Michael to put a big exit, a big portal on the wall back to home. But then that being would still have its free will choice. A lot of times they're like, oh, yay, thank you. And they'll just go across. A lot of times they're like, no, you know, I'm holding on to this pain and the suffering and, and I need to stay for Aunt Martha and everything else. And so I would call in like Archangel Raphael to come in and do healing work with this with this being and then talk them and to go on across. So on our website under Twisted Sage, we do have the Ghost Busting 101. Um, it's one of the pages and it goes through the basically a, a skit um, paragraph by paragraph of how you talk to waywards um, and you can talk them into crossing over and you know a lot of them just choose they're like no i, I don't want to go i'm having fun here like deadwood south dakota at some of the old hotels they're just having fun they're haunting they're they're you know they're just hanging out and so they choose to stay um so through time I was always trying to make a tool to cross them over. Once we found the golden fire energetics is when I was finally able to um, put this into the tools, into the field so that they automatically cross over. So what this golden fire energetics is, is it is the sacred heart, that trifle gold flame heart that you always see Jesus and Mary walking with beyond religion. It is a facet of your light. And this golden fire that we put into the tools, basically anybody who comes into the field of like, let's say a golden fire tensor field generator that has that two and a half mile sphere of influence, anybody who comes into this field, it brings the remembrances of that sacred heart. Now, when a ghost or a wayward comes into this field and the sacred heart is activated by the soul. So basically as that ghost wayward comes into this field, the soul comes in to activate the sacred heart and the soul just takes them home. And so anymore, if you're doing the longhand version of crossing over ghost waywards, you simply call in their soul to cross them over. And their soul is the one who does all the healing. That's where they're just instantly brought into wisdom and light into the soul. They're integrated into the soul. So, um, what we have here is uh this year we have we've been having this ghostbuster sale for um for the past you know, a couple weeks here which we do every year and this year we have 10 tools that are on this list and i'll go through these tools um fairly quickly and just give you a, a basic rundown on them and point you towards more information or attunements activations to work with these tools to do the work um, so one of the first tools that we were using are the golden fire and light wands. Now, this is the practitioner and the personal size. They're the same power and potency, but these were the very first tools that we were using that you could cross over ghost waywards with. And one of the ways that you can do that is simply run energy to them um, because this will activate the sacred heart. But really what I've been um, teaching all over the world is how to do light anchors with these. Once you have the attunement to that golden fire, that, that sacred heart activation, then when you use these higher dimensional tools to create columns of light, then it's also bringing through that golden fire. So you can put these columns of light into cemeteries, into hospitals, schools, um, anywhere that you would find these ghost sway words. Um, one thing about a ghost or a wayward is, is that they need to take energy from people or places in order to survive on that plane. So when we first started doing this work, we were finding that there was a lot of people who had the, the, that attachment 
that energetic attachment of a ghost or a wayward. And it followed them down, followed um, their ancestors down. So let's say great grandma Martha, um, <clears throat> when she died, she chose to stay to take care of Elmer. And then Elmer died and he's like, oh, heck no, I'm going home. And he took off. So she was attached to him or the home that they lived in. And when he took off, she just stayed either there in the home or else she attached herself to another one of the kids or the grandkids. And so then they just walk with them. And um, so that's what we were finding quite often. And, and that's why we want to personify these beings and, and that they're not just ghosts, that they are somebody's relative, somebody's mom, somebody's grandma, and it even could be an aspect or a lifetime of you. I've crossed over myself before. Um, so basically, um, they're personified. They are, they are beings. They are living beings, consciousness. Um, and they still have feelings, emotions, all of that. Memories. Um, you know, it, they're, they're still the person. And so basically... Um, so where they need to attach to people or places, that's where we usually find is that they're attached to people. And then there's also places that you find that are just haunted places. And so, um, and they travel on this earth through the geomagnetic line. So they basically, if they're not attached to a person, um, receiving energy from the person, they are following these geomagnetic lines. And there are places on the planet where there's intersecting of geomagnetic lines all over and basically they end up um a lot of times in these homes or buildings or whatever that are the intersection of geomagnetic lines so um so that's why you can find sometimes places that have just a ton of wayward ghosts okay so the first thing we have is the golden fire and light wands now on the product page you can learn how to use these receive the activations and attunements but you can go to also our YouTube uh, channel, Light Anchoring 3.0. Light Anchoring 3.0 is one of the, the newer light anchoring videos, still a few years old, but it's one that will give you the attunements and activations to this particular tool um, and that sacred heart, the golden fire. And then you can begin to anchor columns of light. Um, and again, you don't need the physical tools to anchor columns of light, but they are wonderful training wheels and assist with tools of your attention. Uh, the next active tools that we have in Crossing Over Ghost Waywards are the Wisdom Wands. So the Wisdom Wands are ones that um, <clears throat> basically they contain the energetics of the Golden Fire and Light Wands as well. So that's why you can use the wisdom wands. You can use these to also anchor columns of light. Um, and these bring through a little bit extra energetics. Um, if you're out there anchoring columns of light, I would suggest utilizing the energetics of the wisdom wands because the columns of light then bring through more than their predecessors do. Um, so these again are a couple of the tools that you can use actively to create the columns of light or to simply run the energy uh, to cross over the ghost waywards. So then with the other tools that we have on our, um, on our Ghostbuster sale, these particular ones, and by the way, I'll give you a coupon code here for an extended sale. Otherwise that sale ends here November 2nd, uh, tonight at midnight of 2022. Um, so we'll give you an extension on that for those of you who are here watching and watching the recording. Um, so there are a few other tools that we utilize. The, the first one um, that I mentioned are the Golden Fire Tensor Field Generators. We also have that in an 8-inch generator. And these are passive tools. Basically, you just sit this and forget it. And not only are they creating a 2.5-mile sphere of influence, restructuring electromagnetics, dense consciousness, all that good stuff. Again, it is bringing that remembrance of the sacred heart, the Golden Fire, to all within this field. And so the ghost waywards that come into this field, their soul comes in. And unless they are just, oh, hell no, I am staying here 
you know, and they're putting their foot down with the sole. No, nope, I'm staying. Um, unless they are really adamant about staying here. Otherwise, they will just cross over when they come into this field. And how do you know you have a ghost or a wayward if you don't feel or sense this? Um, well, if, if you don't see them or know them, um, it comes as a feeling. Um, you know, watch your animals and watch them look around. Sense, uh, just kind of feel into things to feel, you know, a lot of times for me, it was like I could feel like there was a presence or something watching me or else I would get the chills up and down my spine or just be kind of scared, you know, um, things like that. You, you get those feelings um, and, um, you know, and you can tell they're not just coming from the mind. And so, but yeah, you usually just dismiss them. Oh, it's just, you know, that, that scary show I watched last week or whatever. Um, but no, that's when you can actually, you know, for me, I did not sense these beings in the beginning. And so when I was creating the light and crossing them over, my dog and my cat, you know, I still remember this vividly when I created that, that, that light. And actually I had Archangel Michael create the light later on. I started to just create that light, that source portal to home. Um, and I was talking that wayward into it and I could just feel that they were there, but I couldn't see them or really truly know. So I was just like, okay, you know, walking them, you know, talking them in through the lights and everything. And my dog and my cat both watched in the room. They both watched as whatever went up to where I had this light on the wall up here towards the ceiling they both simultaneously watched this go. And then I felt everything shift, closed the portal, gave my thanks. And, and that was that. Um, so, you know, that was really great confirmations until I really started to feel and sense this. Now, um, one thing about doing this work is, is that, well, and it's not even just doing the work. If ghosts or waywards know that you can sense them like kids, they'll they'll just always be around to bug you um and so once you do start doing the work i mean so if you see them they're always bugging you if you don't see them but you start doing this work they will start coming to you so for like me for the longest time you know i always say tell the story of why i go into walmart and i just get covered with all these waywards and I just say, hey, guys, go wait in the car until I get out and then I'll come out and and walk you through. And that was when I was doing it the old way before the golden fire tools came along is, is that I would always have to just do the work manually. And so that's why I was searching for a tool for the longest time to cross over these ghost waywards is because it was just a constant thing of always crossing them over. But also at that time we had so many on this planet so many ghosts and waywards on this planet because nobody was really doing the work nobody was crossing these beings over there was a few there's well, there was a few books that are written spirit release in the uk but it really wasn't a wide widely um known about modality if you will of crossing over ghosts and waywards but now it's something that we've been teaching for, gosh, like 10 years. And then we've made these tools, the golden fire tools, which are all over the planet. And then plus the planet's been raising in frequency and vibration and dislodging a lot of these. Um, and, you know, we've gone through and cleared entire grid systems of ghost waywards. Um, we've done a lot of work over the past decades on clearing out those who were stuck and trapped in places uh, such as cemeteries. There used to be a grid system um, that was connected to religious institutions that were also in cemeteries. In cemeteries, you'd always find like this, this rod stuck in the ground or else a certain obelisk. And that was basically holding those ghosts waywards there. Uh, they were used as batteries, basically, just like, you know, back in the old paradigm, um, uh, of duality that basically, you know, that's why these other institutions, social institutions all over the planet 
um, were utilizing energy of people as well as the energy of ghosts waywards um, because they they receive the energy from from the fear and everything else and again i'm not trying to that was an old system that is no longer present here on this planet so you know there's a lot of funny stuff going on but it's all it's all just the sweeping up of things there's no there's no real anchors of all of that stuff here anymore so you know like all the cemeteries all that stuff has been cleared out all those old grid systems and religious institutions and others so anyway um but there's still ghost waywards that float around and you know and every day when people die that they choose to stay here you can cross them over um so anyway going back to the tools again and some of the other tools that we have um that are included in this sale for the ghostbuster sale and again most all of the tools that we create will be creating fields that can cross over ghost waywards we just happen to choose 10 of them that we feel are, are some of the best tools to utilize. And the other generator is the um, Divine I Am Tensor Field Generator. This does carry the energetics of the Golden Fire, but it carries a lot more with it. Um, any more of these wisdom energetics that are in this Divine I Am um, and in the Wisdom Wands and in the Wings of Talk, these wisdom fields are, are basically, they're, they're doing things quicker and easier. Um, they're allowing that lifetime, instead of it just crossing over to soul, it is allowing the soul and them to release all of their wisdom and light to the soul. It's, um, it's taking the experiences of that lifetime and releasing them. Um, and that gets into a little bit more... <laughs> A little bit more of the woo-woo and the other stuff. Well, gosh, I guess if we're doing ghost busting, we're a little woo-woo already. Um, but the Divine I Am Tensor Field Generator is another fantastic one. It has a smaller sphere of influence, but if you're going to get a Tensor Field Generator, I would certainly suggest the Divine I Am versus the Golden Fire just because it's working with a lot more of the consciousness stuff. Um, and again, questions as we move along here, please do drop those in the questions tab here. So the next tool that we have is actually another golden fire tool. And I didn't unwrap this one. I want to leave it nice and shiny in the package. This is the Gaia sphere, the golden fire Gaia sphere. Now we do have two different Gaia spheres, um, but the golden fire is the one that um, we've traditionally seen being used for clearing ghost waywards. Again, it creates that portal to source, that connection, um, and it is, it's bringing in the soul to do the sacred heart activation because these guys spheres are very much connecting to the heart. Um, so the golden fire Gaia sphere is another good one. And it's just another one of the set it and forget it tools. Another one of the set it and forget it tools is the activator. Uh, the activator through 3.1, I think is what we call this one, uh, third or fourth generation of the activators. And this creates sacred space. So these are excellent for um, places that are sacred spaces already. So if you have a place where um, a lot of times we will find pockets of ghost waywards that are trapped, it is usually the intersecting and geomagnetic lines that create portal vortexes. That is also where you find sacred sites is the intersecting of geomagnetic lines. And so that's where you'll find a sacred site and a lot of times it also creates a vortex there within that space. And so a lot of times we'll find just souls trapped there. Either there's a building there or it's just out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and that is because of that, of that geomagnetic line that creates that vortex. So these are fantastic tools to set in those specific places places that are sacred sites like where there's old medicine wheels things like that cemeteries um, churches they all utilize the geomagnetic lines state capitol buildings um, so basically for a set it and forget it tool this is a really powerful tool but it's a spendy one to just buy and put into a graveyard or someplace else this is something that you'd want to utilize we have a lot of people that are in the medical profession um, that work in ERs that 
keep these in their lockers um, because these are they're just a powerful powerful tool for crossing over not only those ghost waywards but also when you're working in the er you get other non-physical beings that come in as attachments um so the activator pretty fantastic tool now we'll move to a couple of other tools um these are two varieties the wings of talk and again i'm just going to leave this one in the package since it's nice and shiny new um the wings of talk is a sit in and forget it tool now this is one of our most powerful clearing tools we actually made the wings of talk for those who are doing work with clearing entities and ghost waywards um but they were having issues with them and so we designed the wings of talk to be one of the more powerful clearing tools of of entities and that's the thing about a ghost wayward is is that as a ghost or a wayward um takes energy from people so you'll find that ghosts like to waywards like to frequent places um like bars places where people are just um their field is wide open and they just can it's it's a feeding time and so again a ghost or a wayward has to take energy from people or places now when you have an energetic of attachment of a ghost wayward it will elicit emotions within you because your emotions are what it feeds off of and those emotions of fear and the emotions of of anger and those other things they're just uh, they're they're uh powerful food they're a powerful emotion um and so that's where you know they they will elicit emotions within you a really strong attachment can actually influence your mind and your emotional field it can not only um influence your thoughts but it helps it it, it tries to elicit those emotions the anger and the fear because then it feeds and so we've seen ghosts or waywards that have fed off of these energies and they become so strong and so big that's a poltergeist that is one who can move things that's one who's who's the angry one that's that's just these big beings and a lot of times we'll mistake them for entities other worldly non-physical beings um that are that are non-beneficial so we've seen ghost waywards that are just huge you know brings up like the ghostbusters marshmallow man thought you know just a powerful powerful being and so again that's where some of these stronger tools like anchoring the columns of light or the wisdom wand or the wings of talk comes in again this is a sit it and forget it tool but you can also use it actively to create the column so that you can sit this in a place, do the visualization work after you've had the activation and attunement. And again, you just find that on the product page. There's a video that walks you through that. And again, you don't need the physical tool. So if you're going to actually anchor columns of light and put out these non-physical tools in places, these anchors, I would go to the Wings of Talk video actually because this is really a powerful field if you are anchoring light powerful field so very transformational and again it is another one kind of like the activator but a lot stronger that you can put in those places that have those portal vortexes or even um let's say the case of oh uh, gosh what is that hotel in colorado from the shining um you you, you all know that hotel that i'm speaking of uh that hotel uh that comes from the shining there is there used to be these beings that were basically and they were ghost waywards that had just amassed so much energy that they were trapping other ghost waywards there you know they, they it was pretty wild so we went there several years ago i think 2016 17 and we cleared those beings out of there and and there was a lot that were just being there held held in that space by these stronger beings and so they were cleared and so all the beings that are left there the stanley hotel the stanley hotel in colorado um the only beings that are left there now the, the haunted rooms and stuff 
are the ones who chose not to go over because they're just having fun. You know, they get attention, they, you know, and everything else. So they choose to stay there at the Stanley Hotel. Same with like some of the hotels in Deadwood. So anyway, um, <clears throat> then the Wings of Talk pendant. The Wings of Talk pendant, it, so this creates a field about 200 feet or more across innately when you put your attention to any tools they expand. The Wings of Talk pendant is another one that you can just simply wear. Um, and that will keep your field clear so that any ghost wayward that comes into your field, their soul comes in to do that work with them and they cross over. Um, the very first pendant that we created was, which is another one of ours that are, is on the sale, is Untak the Key, the Ankh of the Now Time. This particular pendant is the precursor to the Wings of Talk. Now, this Untak the Key, the Ankh, is the first pendant that I was able to wear that would clear ghost waywards as they come into my field. Um, I'm not sure if we have any of these left in stock right now for this sale. Uh, we might still have one. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. And then what are our other tools? You know, I think that is all the tools that we have on this sale. Um, I have not made the coupon code yet, but I will as soon as we're done with this video, I'll make a coupon code and that coupon code, which will extend the sale for another week is called ghost. Well, let's call it ghost. That will be the coupon code. And um, let's see, right now we're at 13% off uh, with that GB coupon code until midnight. Um, I'll do 14% off with this coupon code ghost. So use that in this next week here um, to receive your um, discount code. So I'll run this through the 8th of November of 2022. You can use the coupon code GHOST for any of these 10 tools. Um, and just go to that Ghostbusters page um, and you'll find that list of tools there again. Okay, so we're going to go over here and jump to the questions um and for those of you who uh don't attend our 50 questions fridays usually we do a 50 questions friday and we have a lot of folks who jump on to the chat and so saying hello to everybody who's here and thank you for being here and support as always and again um please do drop your questions over on the questions tab and let's see a uh, question from Carla. Um, just to clarify, the energy used by a ghost wayward is the energy of fear. You know, so a ghost or a wayward, it's not necessarily fear. It is just any energy at all from people or places. Um, people or places that carry energy and even geomagnetic lines are where they receive their energy. Now, as I always say, if you're an asshole in life, you're an asshole in death. And so there are some that are just, um, you know, they're, they're ill-mannered, ill-tempered. They're just, you know, buttheads, you know, and they like to feed off of fear. They like to see people in pain and suffer and all the fun stuff. But they also might have a power trip and decide that they just want to feed off of fear and make themselves bigger and stronger and do more things. And so those are the ones who will usually elicit the fear and the emotions in people. Um, but even then you can have some, some being who is, you know, a, more of a timid being, but once they start to, you know, amass that energy, perhaps they too begin to want to elicit fear in people just to, receive that energy. Um, are there animal waywards? Uh, no, no, we do not see animal waywards. Um, so we see animals as basically a part of a morphogenic field. So versus having a specific soul, we see them as, as more of, um, you know, a morphogenic field, but yet, yes. So a lot of people argue with this fact, um, you know, like dogs, dogs have not only the morphogenic field 
but they are also a portion of your soul is a portion of what animates them of what makes them yours and what brings through more of of who they are it is a facet of your light um uh, jr if i have a if i add a silver one inch divine i am and silver two inch harmony to the wings of talk pendant how does this affect the pendant and that's exactly what i have here is we have the silver divine i am in the center of the wings of talk in that two inch harmonizer ring this amplifies everything greatly um you know plus it looks good because of this bling but it, it makes it more potent now it's not going to necessarily affect how much you affect a ghost or a wayward this is more for your personal feel to amplify it for you do the wings of talk and the wings of talk pendant have the same potency same sphere of influence um no actually so the um the wings of talk itself is about a 200 foot sphere of influence where the wings of talk pendant is more like 12 to 20 feet um it's working with your field innately if you just set this in your house it covers about the size of a room um so if you set this in your bedroom or your living room or your you know your dining room it's about the size of that room when you are wearing it it is turning your field into that transformer um So let's see. And again, we do have that video from, uh, gosh, I believe it was last year that we did the video on the, the ghost busting. And um, I just wanted to give an updated video here with the specific tools that were that we have for offer this year. And to just give you some more um, ideas on how to use them and ask, answer some questions. So anyway, um, yeah, it's it's really a service that you can do for others because um, basically as as this human walks through life, we amass all of these experiences, all these experiences that we wish to turn into wisdom. We do this for creation and for soul, have these experiences so that they can come in as wisdom, light and consciousness. And so if you are stuck as a ghost wayward, your soul is missing that little aspect, all of that wisdom and experience. It's, it, it's not, it's missing that. And so when you cross over a ghost or a wayward, you are performing a service for that soul and that facet of the soul. And so this really is a fantastic thing to do for all the other beings out there. Um, and again, you don't have to get deep into it. You can simply just have the tools around, especially if you ever have those feelings, you know, of, of just something around. Um, that's where the tools that you just sit it and forget it really come in handy. So anyway, um, if there's no more questions here, we'll go ahead and close up. Um, let's see, I guess, you know, we never did go into the sacred space of the heart. Uh, during this this video and usually in all of our videos and any of the work that you do it's all about going into the heart space so if you fall into fear um you know if so if you feel or sense whatever it is that's around you going into the sacred space of the heart brings you in alignment with your soul and it brings you out of that fear because there's nothing to fear with a ghost or a wayward or or any of these beings there's absolutely nothing to fear um no matter how big of a butthead one is um, they can't harm you they can elicit fear and emotions so when you go into the sacred space of the heart that is where you work with these beings from is from that space and frequency of love and so anytime you use the tools and that's it is when you go through using any of the columns of light um, or using the wings of talk etherically those video meditations will walk you through into the sacred space of the heart before you do anything 
because that's where we work from. That's where our empowerment is from, is from that sacred space of the heart. Uh, one more question here. Do you think to make a new 5D animator attunement video? Um, possibly. We're, I'm actually starting to, um, I've been wanting to make new videos. I'd actually like to go through all of the videos that I have out there and make new ones because we truly are in a new energy. And before this, before 2020, all the tools that we created really were about doing that clearing work. They came from that space of, of the dark and the light of clearing the dense energies, clearing the darkness. But after 2020 has came the realization and also that chalice energetics to where everything's not black and white like that, that, um, that the dark and the light are simply, it was a part of duality and it was a part of an old paradigm of creation for soul growth and learning. And so we're stepping into a whole new paradigm. And so I would like the videos and the explanations and everything to reflect that. Um, you know, one of our oldest videos is, um, what was it? Entity clearing, I think it was, and, and things. And, you know, it came from the old paradigm. And so, yeah, we'll definitely have some new videos coming. Um, let's see a couple more questions here. Let's see. Um, so looking to get greater clarity on the Wings of Talk pendant. Oh, so um, the, the pendant, it, um, the question is about the Wings of Talk pendant. So the Wings of Talk and the Wings of Talk pendant both are electroplated because there are steel tines in here. The copper will not hold the energetics of these tools. So with these, we electroplate them copper. Um, now, with the electroplating on here, we, we have a guarantee on the electroplating. Basically, if the electroplating comes off, just send it in to us and we will replate it for you for free. Um, now, if the plating comes off, it does not affect it energetically. The electroplating there is there for aesthetics only. So if your plating comes off on your key pendant, your wings of talk pendant or your wings of talk, the original one or the updated version, you can send it in for replating, but it does not affect the energetics. Um, all right. And thank you, Christine, for alerting me to a question there. And so, um, yeah, please do sign up for our newsletter if you have not, because that will um, send you an email when we do 50 questions Friday. And with 50 Crescents Friday, we go into depth on um, the tools and the consciousness work and answer questions from there. Mm -hmm. So, um, or if you wish, so if you go to the website, twistedsage.com, go down to the bottom, there is an email or a newsletter sign up there. So, all right. Well, wonderful. Thank you all for being here. And I will see you at the next 50 Questions Friday. All right. Take care and thank you for doing this work. Um, it is a valuable service for, for everyone. All right. Have a great one.